hello guys and welcome to the unreal place i'm here again with another tutorial and today we are going to be looking at the different ways of selecting actors in unreal engine selecting actors is something that you definitely do a lot when using unreal engine or any software for that matter and it's good to know the different methods of selecting and the best one to use in any given situation I've broken down the different selection methods into six categories, which are simple selection, marquee selection, selecting with the world outliner, selecting by instances, selecting by materials, and selecting by layer. You might know some of them already, but hopefully you'll learn one or two new tips. So let's dive in. Simple selection, as the word implies, is probably the simplest way of selecting objects in Unreal Engine. To do this, simply left click on any mesh or any object to select it. And you know it's selected when you have this yellow boundary around the mesh. To add to your selection, hold down Ctrl and left click. And to deselect or remove from a selection, you go down Control alt and left click and that's simple so the second method we'll be looking at is the marquee selection so let's say we wanted to select this row of chairs and tables it would be painstaking to select every single one of them one by one and that's where the marquee selection comes in what i simply have to do is drag a box to select everything but in normal engine you can't do this in your 3d viewport it has to be done in an orthographic viewport so to go to the top view for example i'm going to use a shortcut alt and j and i'm going to start from the left left click and drag a box to select everything here so as you can see it also selects the floor and let me select this by holding ctrl alt and dragging a marquee selection to select this and i also know that the ceiling lights are selected because i designed this so if we go to press alt and h to go to the front view again i hold on ctrl and alt to deselect ceiling lights now let's go back to perspective and that is alt and g as you can see i've successfully selected this row of tables and chairs so the outliner is another great way of selecting meshes in your scene and to show you where it is go to window world outliner mine is already open so basically your outliner shows you a list of everything you have in your scene and so if i select something this chair takes me to where it is in the outliner if i select something else it goes to where it is in the outliner so let's say i want to select all the bottles here it will take forever if i have to select them one by one and if i decide to use the marquee selection it would still take a while because i'll have to start to deselect so many other things so the simplest way or the easiest way would be to select a bottle now i must say that the outliner becomes very useful if the objects in your scenes your scenes are named properly so because i named all my bottles i can just select one it takes me to where it is in the outliner and then i can go to the top scroll down hold down shift and then select the last one and it selects all the bottles okay so another way i can use the outliner is to use the search bar at the top so let's see okay so let's see this i have wooden slats so these are wooden slats here and i also have wooden slats here so let's time to select all the wooden slats in this scene i can easily type in slats and then okay so as you can see the blinds are also named slats but i want only 
the one from the bar and these ones over here so i will scroll down from wooden slats here all the way down hold down shift and select and the slats here and the bar are selected another great way of selecting objects in your scene is by using instances instances are basically meshes of the same type and they can be created in every 3d software package in my case, I use SketchUp and let's quickly see how I set it up. So in the SketchUp scene, to create an instance, you convert your mesh to a component and copy it around. So if I click on this chair, it says edit component. If I click on it, you can see that I select the chair or the legs, every other instance gets selected. So these are all instances same with the stool same with the light fixtures so basically it's good to create instances of a mesh when you be, when you have several of them in your scene apart from being able to select them easily in unreal engine it also saves memory space so if i go back to unreal engine to select an instance you just select one and press shift e on your keyboard to select all the instances so the same with this tool if i select top and the legs hold down shift and e and they're all selected so if I select the tabletop shift and e so again in the previous example where we use the outliner if i simply select one slot I select this other one and press shift and e because there are instances they both get selected different mesh types can easily be selected at the same time courtesy of the material that they share so if i select this leg you see that it has this wood material applied to it so if i right click and go to select select all with the same material it selects all the legs since they have the same material applied to them another way we can do this is to go to our materials folder if i right click on this material i can go to asset actions and select actors using this asset so this will select all the meshes that have this wood material applied to it so that's the slats and the wooden panels the last method we'll be looking at today is selecting by layers so basically objects in a particular layer can be selected by just double clicking on that layer so the way this works is let me open my layer panel by going to windows and layers all right so i'll dock mine to the right side as you can see i already have some layers here and that's because in my sketchup scene i arrange the objects in layers so for example i have the bottle layer i have the seats layer so that translated into unreal engine so let's say I want to select all the seats in this scene. I can simply double click and they are all selected. If I want to select all the light fixtures, double click on lights and they are all selected. Same goes for the bottles. So let's say I want to add, create a new layer and add some objects to that layer. So I can select, say, these meshes, right click and then add selected actors to a new layer so i can name this chairs so right now if i double click they're selected so it's another quick way of selecting your meshes thank you for watching this tutorial if you found this useful please hit the like and subscribe button in my next tutorial i'll be talking about the best practices when going from SketchUp to Unreal Engine.
If you don't want to miss out on that, hit the notification bell to get notified when it drops. I'll be back soon with more tutorials. See you next time.